Hello Bright and Brilliant channel. This tutorial is the result from a small guessing contest I made a couple of days ago. The winner could choose the subject of the new tutorial. Here we are. Second Amendment, men's diamond ring, 3D jewelry design. Let's get started. Okay, so first let's go to Google. Um, let's search for a Colt 1911. We're going to use this image as a displacement. It means that you need a black background and you need to even out some colors. Now, also we're going to need 45 bullet ACP image reference. So go and save this image. Today I will be using Blender 3.6.9 top view add mesh plane go to edit mode subdivide 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 I'm going to subdivide 11 times adjust that depending on the power of your computer and the resolution you need for your project exit edit mode save second amendment 3d jewelry design and be happy now let's go to modifiers add modifier this place new texture go to textures image texture is going to be open open the flat displacer adjust depending on the proportion of your image apply modifier right there go to edit mode front view x-rays select most of the mesh here do an sz0 to level it do a control i to invert the selection do a delete we don't need these millions of vertices now we have the shape of the gun that's really nice select everything extrude on the z-axis check the thickness i'm going to go at minus one millimeter now do a control i go to data vertex group plus assign exit edit mode solid view check your perfect mesh save and be happy now we can go back to modifiers add modifier displace new texture vertex group the group direction z axis go to textures image texture now open the cold displace map obviously we need to adjust the strength as needed right there save and be happy now you can add a modifier smooth let's go to 10 so this is a very quick but efficient way to model something with already a certain grade of details it obviously all depends on the quality of the image for your displacement. So the next step, our first diamond. So let's go file, append. If you don't already have my gemstone library, you can find it on Blender Market. So the dimension is around 6.45 millimeters. So that's a standard size for a one carat round diamond. Don't forget that the diameter of a round diamond for a specific carrot is not always the same. It depends how well the diamond is cut. Ideally, it should be really around 6.4, 6.5. But you can find very badly shaped diamonds and maybe it's going to be 6.1, 6.8 millimeters in diameter for one carrot. Because remember, the carrot is the weight unit. It's the weight of the diamond. Now, the next step, front view, add mesh circle, 320 vertices. The radius is 20.6 divided by 2. That's a size 11 American. Obviously, it's a man ring. Must be pretty big. If you don't know the sizes, go check a ring size chart. This is a more advanced tutorial, so I won't be explaining this today. Bring it to the view, centered, call this size 11 ref now the plane which is actually the gun call it colt 1911 put the diamond somewhere up there we already have an idea of the size now so we can start putting the elements into place let's start working with the size of the gun and we're going to rotate it slightly let's bring it somewhere here what we're going to do is add mirror modifier on x and y axis based on the diamond this will be part of the top setting so obviously we still have a lot of work to do let's save and be happy i want to add a simple deform 
bend. So now we're going to do it on the Z axis at mesh cube. Let's call this the deformation cube. Let's put it in place somewhere here. Rotation 90 degrees on the X axis for the cube and the origin is going to be the default cube. And now we can do a slight bending right there. And now we're going to make the mirror based on the gemstone on the X and Y axis. Now let's go to the front view, add an image reference image bullet is going to come into action let's center it right there now let's go to add mesh plane let's add some transparency to the image let's go at 0.85 let's go back to the plane edit mode merge at center global positions zero nix we're going to make it as one single object on the percussion side um, many bullets have a groove there with the markings now let's make a control A, all transforms. Now let's go to screw. Okay, so the resolution, the steps for the screw, depending on the resolution you like. I generally work at pretty high resolutions. Resin 3D printing has become very, very precise. So as a jewelry designer, as a jeweler who 3D prints also. Now let's add a bevel. One step should be fine, depends the sharpness we want and that subdivision surface three levels and my first intention for this bullet is that it's going to make the prongs for the diamond it so here let's make a mirror on the y axis based on the diamond right there now let's make an alt d and let's rotate okay now here we're going to start working on some type of body for the ring and let's make an add mesh plane let's go to edit mode merge at center let's start there actually x-rays let's start extruding so down there the thickness more than one millimeter that's super obvious exit edit mode shift s cursor to select it go back to edit mode reference from the 3d cursor let's make an extrusion to the 3d cursor and let's go there i don't care here about the finger size you'll see why pretty soon all right we have this now let's go add a solidify modifier thickness whatever you need the mirror modifier on x and y like this to complete the ring so you can call this ring body save and be happy now we need to add a bevel and let's add subdivision surfaces right there level three and uh, we need some simple deform tapper on the z axis restriction on the x axis okay this is pretty nice okay so now obviously we need to take the finger size into account so i'm going to take the size 11 ref make a copy shift d let's go to edit mode let's close this circle with f extrude on the y axis to the other side right there don't forget to outside the normals right there because it's the size cutter right there let's take the body of the ring and let's go to boolean modifier fast from this cutter and i'm going to remove the solidify modifier right there i'm going to extrude on the y-axis a couple of times one more time let's go to zero for this one now i need another cut here that's pretty good i'm going to take these faces and i'm going to go to the inside and here i'm going to change the shape Okay, and down here, I want to do something similar with the shape, something like this. It's pretty smooth. I'm going to add more bullets. So let's copy this there. It's pretty nice. Okay, and I want three bullets. I'm going to flip it, rotate it very slightly. Now I want a mirror. Okay, let's take half of this so we get more thickness save and be happy and important decoration here on the side add mesh circle to the view vertices five go to edit mode fine now subdivide this and scale famous star now add modifier subdivision surface simple level four shrink wrap to the target the body of the ring it's a project on the x-axis negative Control a all transforms we have this let's go to edit mode subdivide a couple of times and let's scale so it doesn't stretch let's convert to mesh 
let's extrude to the top right there make a mirror on the x-axis right there okay let me just set the viewport colors now let's work here on the belts and base for the top setting add mesh lane edit mode merge at center so it follows the stones but it must stay lesser than the diameter of the gemstone now add screw modifier here so let's do Control a all transforms okay let's put uh, 85 steps or whatever you need it's going to be yellow gold and obviously you don't touch the stone and here we can smooth this with a bevel and the subdivision surface level three good now shift d on the z axis this goes on the finger this is going to be the setting base edit mode i don't want this indent on the base this needs the boolean with the size ref cutter right there let me take one of the coats let's copy them let's remove the modifiers i'm going to take the shape of the coat erase these we don't need those a scale on z to zero so here i'm going to solidify this okay so this is starting to give a proper contact let's make a mirror on the y-axis now here i want more diamonds that's pretty obvious the setting for this diamond let's run view and i'm going to adapt to the gemstone screw let's go at 50 same bevel subdivision surface three levels i want to be a bit thinner let's give it a mirror on the x and y axis two millimeter diamonds let's fit one more diamond here on the side and what i'm going to do is use the colt again and uh, let's see what we can get okay let's see if we can find a bending orientation or deformation cube yes it's going to help again okay so now i'm not done okay so now we're going to create a cutter and mesh plane let's give it a go right here so this is very quick very easy af come here extrude to the outside check the normals to the outside add modifier mirror x and y this gun right there is gonna get this boolean from this cutter here on the sides we're going to make some decorations so let's start top view add curve bezier circle make a pyramid shape like this now front view add curve bezier curve so it's very common in gun customization to have embellishments this goes on the finger to be 3d printed and to be casted soldered polished all those jewelry manufacturing processes that the designer must take into account otherwise he's doing a totally useless job okay here i see that i can cut further now the gun on the side move the boolean before the mirror difference again and we're going to work a bit more on the ornaments okay on the inside we still need a small bridge okay we can do this with the ornaments too we need to connect okay so this is the bridge there's several ways we can configure this the top setting is nice so here on the side add text in this design i'm going to put 1911 obviously and uh, the font let's use the copper plate and let's bring it here let's add subdivision surface simple four times let's do a shrink wrap on the body of the ring right there it's a project on the x well depends the orientation negative from it's on the z-axis we have this offset minus zero two like this one let's make a mesh let's go to edit mode here and let's extrude on the normal right there and this is great this is going to be gold reset all transforms make an alt d link copy 180 degrees you can't make a mirror for that it's a 180 degree rotation here we we'll still have a couple of gaps so i'm going to create some more ornaments but with a plane so let's go to edit mode merge let's go out 
here and let's start making this. So obviously we're gonna have a projection. So at first I can't really be sure of the spaces. Let's make this LF, start with this one so you can see. Now, subdivision surface, simple for time, trend wrap project, it's on the X axis negative, uh, ornaments around the start, turn on the mirror. So I have this, so these are side ornaments. Let's make it a mesh. Let's extrude here and let's adapt and this and that. Okay, let's take an overall look at the design. See that everything is well connected. The ergonomy for real life and that we have the right conditions for manufacturing. I've made some adjustments. That means I've added ornaments here in the yellow gold on the side. I have adjusted slightly here the top ornament also. I adapted the position of the top a bit higher so we can fully see the design of the Colt. Right away is add text. So obviously I'm going to use my brand here. I'm going to use another font. I like this one. To the view, let's make it bigger. Convert it to mesh. Go to edit mode. Extrude in edit mode here. And we're going to make the band. Add a cube again here for the deformation. 90 degrees on X for the orientation. We're good. Now let's take body of the ring. Needs the boolean for the engraving. This is perfect. So the shape is very classical, but the design is very new. Now for the render, let's go to the internet and search for Constitution USA and find an image. Let's go back to Blender. So I'm going to join all now here, side view. Let's rotate, bring this to the floor. Let's create a mesh plane, whatever size we need. Well, this is going to be the Constitution. Okay, obviously we'll have to work with the cameras here. Okay, so I'll control zero. I like the position of the shadow. Let's well recreate that with the light. So here, focal length, let's go at 35, in fact. And the sensor size, go at 17. Let's go to shading. So now for the environment, change to NS.AXR. You can find it on the internet. It's a very famous HDR AXR. So now render preview. Creates the material for the ground, for a constitution. Okay, so image texture image texture color to base add ambient occlusion here distance 50. now let's go for your constitution image so obviously check the proportion of the file as resolution actually let's use this 1587 18.7 that's the proportion of the file of the image move that so we can read we're going to put a slight bump with the image so it goes on height the specular to zero let's try some metallic okay now obviously we need a depth of field when you make macro views like this you better put some depth of field let's call this empty dove let's make the focus here at this diamonds okay now camera settings um, depth of field uh, target it's going to be the dove and now what we need is to adapt the world illumination the strength we're going to remove the clamping on the indirect light let's go to zero and filter glossy also let's go to zero so now we can get some caustics in blender for that we need to create at least one spotlight oriented to a part that's going to reflect strongly like here on the inside and then i'll add some aerial light also now this spotlight must be quite strong no do you know yeah strength i need to make this a lot smoother here we're already getting you can see this reflection is a metallic caustic or angel rays like i like to call them use a lot of samples okay and now what i'm going to do is put a real light from the back because i like the back shadows some shadows from the back right there i'm going to work the color a bit more here on this image texture of the constitution let's add color hsv more on the red side okay so i want less saturation and a bit darker now on the rendering side let's go at 4k so it's 200 percent going to be rgb zero percent impression and for the rendering the rendering is going to be at 
4,000 samples, uh, use the open image denoiser. It's slower, but more accurate. I'm going to readapt the DOF so we can see the brand. Now we're ready. This is the perfect image to end this tutorial. My name is Damien Rohrbach. Thanks for all your support. You can find my assets on the Blender market. This was the Second Amendment men's diamond ring jewelry design tutorial. Take care and see you soon.